Hello and welcome to AC1520, Managerial Accounting and Decision Making. My name is Bob Steele. I'll be your instructor for this mod. We have the contact information right here with the email address and the phone number. Email address is probably the best way to start the contact information. We can set up more time to talk after that at that point. We also have the office hours here on Monday at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, these are not required, but this is time that is carved out at that time in order to answer questions. It is in a, in a question answer format and not in a lecture type format. It will be at a different number. This is a conference call number. So you want to call into this number, not this number. Once you're into this number, then we can be on the conference call and we can use screen share software if needed. So I'd like to first get on the call. And then if there are questions that we can work through problems together, then we can click on this link and go into a meeting room and share screens and look through the information at that time work through problems together in that format. Many of the chapters that we will be going through will have uh, helpful instructional videos to help you go through the problems as well, as well as some information on the material within the chapter. If you want to go to some of those directly, some of those videos directly, you could go to this YouTube link here. That will take you to the page. And if you scroll down to the page to the charter area down here and go into 1520, this is maybe a more direct way to get into this information. So it'll go in by 18, 21. It'll have the chapters listed in order for the most part at this point. So instead of going from the links back and forth, if you wanted to go directly in here, you can do so. Going back to Moodle Rooms, back to Moodle Rooms. I'm going to let you go through the rest of this stuff using the course overview. So if you haven't watched the course overview, take a look at that. It'll go over some of the information before the week one starts. We're going to roll down into week one. So the week one is going to include objectives, topics. These should look familiar from prior classes set up in a similar fashion. We're going to be going into the lesson, the lessons being chapter 18 and chapter 21. That's what we're going to cover this week. And then we have the instructional videos here. Once again, you could probably find most of these on the YouTube channel directly. So if you wanted to go there directly, you can do so. And then we have the information that we actually have to do down here. So everything from the discussion forums on down, remember that that's the work that needs to be done. Although most of the work will be done in the McGraw Hills Connect up here, not all the work will be listed in McGraw Hills Connect. So you want to get used to the fact that all the work will be listed in Moodle Rooms, which is this area down here. Although not all the work will be done in Moodle Rooms. So you want to use Moodle Rooms as kind of like the check sheet to check off all the work that is done even though you're going to be doing a lot of it up here in McGraw-Hill. Okay, so what do we need to do for uh, the first week? We need the discussion forums first. Discussion form directions here. Breaking this down, basically we need at least four posts. Most people are going to need more than four posts. You want a minimum of four posts. I would shoot for like seven or eight posts during the week. In order to get full credit on a particular post, you want to have new information that is going to be in the post. If you copy and paste anything from Google or something like that, that's okay, but to get full credit on the post, you want to reference it. Make sure you reference it and don't, don't plagiarize on it. And then you really want to rephrase it in your own words and or would even be better to uh, say whether you agree with it or not and explain why within your own words on that as well. Remember that the discussion forums are worth 21% of the grade. That's a huge piece of the grade. You really want to get full credits on the discussion forums if at all possible. It is very possible to do that so you want to make sure to participate in that and make sure to pick up that full credit in there then we have the assignments so we have the assignment information now these are going to be in connect here in connect the homeworks also in connect in connect as well as the quiz so although this is all in connect you really want to kind of like check it off within Moodle rooms just to make sure that you're using this information as your checklist as you go through the information which will be in connect so I'm going to go up to McGraw Hills Connect up here and take a look at uh, week one. So we have the Learn Smarts. Now I would actually probably do the Learn Smarts first because uh, those are going to walk you through the information in the book. I would read read the book over here, even though you can read the book within the Learn Smart function. But I would use the Learn Smart more to jump back and forth to the information. The book having more resources in terms of highlighting notes and whatnot. So if you click this icon, you'll read the book. You go in here. You're going to go into Learn Smart. Remember, the Learn Smart should only have about 25 questions in them. Once you're done with those, you can continue on them. Just recognize that you've done the work that needs to be done that will be graded, and you're only practicing for the quiz, which is good practice to practice in the Learn Smarts for the quiz because 
they are shorter problems problems that could fit into a multiple choice type format therefore they're good practice for the quiz these are usually going to be the longer problems so we've got uh, 18 1 a and 18 2 a now chapter 18 is kind of just talking about managerial accounting so we're going to do less actual calculations here so we don't have any real worksheets that are going to work through these problems with you later we'll have the paper clips that help you with these longer problems but because this this week is not as long as problems because we're kind of just introducing the topic of managerial accounting uh there's no paper clips that will go with these problems so you want to go in here and work these kind of like longer type problems in this format as well then of course the quiz is going to be down here make sure to take the quiz by sunday quizzes cannot generally be made up unless there's some unusual circumstance in which case you'd have to email me and i take that on a case-by-case -case basis unlike the quizzes where we do have a bit more leeway for late work so although late work could be losing points on the late work we generally have some more leeway on the late work in terms of the homework and assignments than the quizzes which will close and you will not be able to enter them after the close of the week so make sure to pick those up going back to Moodle rooms on this side I'm going to scroll up to the grade book grade book on the left hand side that's going to be the green icon on the left side so if we go into the grade book your grade book will look something like this now the grades will not be fully populated until after the close of the week so the week closes on set on sunday everything should be in there i have until tuesday to input the grades so that means that by tuesday around noon you want to go in here and check that all the grades have been updated as you've been tracking your job is to track everything in week one uh, know exactly visualize what this grade book should look like and then when you go take a look at this grade book as of tuesday you want to see that it has been then populated in accordance with the visualization <laughs> that you have in your head meaning the discussion forum this dash should hopefully turn into a hundred percent because everybody's shooting for a hundred percent on the discussion forums assignments we have week one assignments here these will then populate again hopefully a hundred percent for completing the assignments the quizzes will populate to whatever was uh, gotten in the connect and the homework same thing these will populate hopefully a hundred percent on the homework here and you'll have a total grade if you haven't completed something for example if you didn't complete this homework at one, week one homework two then this dash will then turn from a dash to a zero that way you know that it has been graded the dash will turn into a zero and so then you want to see if you can pick up any late work for anything that is going to be zero uh, any late work that is done in week two then will be fully graded by the end of week two so week two will be due on sunday and then by the end of sunday uh, the grades will be updated so anything that is done in week two will be updated by the end whether that be for late work or for the work that is due within week two so that's going to be it for uh, the first week so have a good uh, class start here